So we're going to get started here with a little bit of context from Dr. Jennings from the Institute for Reproductive Health. Dr. Jennings, what is the problem we're trying to address here with this study? Thank you, Sophie. Thank you very much for that question. Um, we know that more than 220 million women around the world are not using family planning even though they don't want to get pregnant. Recent research across more than 50 countries has shown that the number one reason women don't use family planning is because of their concerns about side effects. Contraceptive methods like DOT are important because they respond to this problem by expanding a woman's choice of non-hormonal, non-invasive options. Plus, when women have a greater variety of method choices, they're more likely to use family planning and continue using it over time. As you all know, there are literally thousands of fertility apps that have come out on the app market in the last few years. Most are designed to help a woman track her period. A few are intended to help plan or prevent pregnancy. However, recent research on these existing fertility apps has demonstrated that the majority of them do not accurately predict a woman's fertile window and are not accurate enough to be used to avoid pregnancy. So what we really have here is a public health problem. There is a high availability of these apps, and a lot of women are choosing to use them, but they're not actually accurate enough to help her avoid pregnancy. This highlights how important it is that app-based family planning methods be based on rigorous scientific research, just like other contraceptive methods. A new poll shows that women in the U.S. would be overwhelmingly interested in a fertility app to prevent pregnancy if they knew it would work. DOT has great potential to provide women with a new app-based family planning option that has a foundation of research and has been rigorously tested so that women can accurately plan or avoid pregnancy. Great, thanks Dr. Jennings. Could you describe a bit more about what the Institute specifically is doing about this? Sure, the, the Institute for Reproductive Health here at Georgetown has been working in this space, that is research and innovation around fertility awareness methods of family planning for over 30 years. Over the past few years, we've been engaged with partners to explore how technology solutions can be applied to fertility awareness methods because we want to be able to increase availability, access, and affordability of products and information in new, sustainable, and scalable ways. You may have seen in the papers that we shared just before this call that IRH was engaged in the research that led to the development of the DOT app. As part of that research, we were able to determine the expected effectiveness of DOT under various circumstances. So we feel confident that it's a viable family planning method based on solid evidence. But now we're conducting a real-time efficacy study to understand how women interpret and use the information they receive from DOT in order to avoid pregnancy. Our study is the first prospective efficacy trial to be conducted on an app-based method of family planning. Thanks, Dr. Jennings. Uh, just wanted to mention briefly for those of you who have just been calling in that if you have a question, you can log your question and be entered into a queue when you dial star six. And also to mention that we are recording this call, so um, we'll be able to provide that after the fact as well. Um, I want to turn to Ms. Heyer now from Cycle Technologies. Could you give us a bit more detail on Dot the app itself and how it works? Sure. Thanks, Sophie. The Dot app is based on a new method of family planning called dynamic optimal timing, hence the name Dot, D-O-T. Uh, DOT is the only family planning app that relies solely on period start dates to determine a user's fertile days in each menstrual cycle and personal, personalizes this information uh, based on her unique cycle length. Uh, to do this, DOT accurately predicts a woman's day-by-day -day risk uh, or chance of pregnancy using reproductive health science and an advanced algorithm. It then gives a user this information in such a way that she can really use it to actively prevent or plan pregnancy. Also, uh, I should mention, DOT provides users with accurate information right from day one, so she doesn't have to wait two, three, four cycles to start using it. 
As a user enters additional period start dates into the app, though, the information provided will become further refined and personalized based on her unique cycle length. Uh, the DOT app will let her know if she's on a high risk, medium risk, or low risk day for pregnancy. We at Cycle Technologies uh, developed the approach behind DOT in collaboration with global health experts, including researchers and da data scientists here at Georgetown University, as well as at Duke University and the Ohio State University. And our goal with DOT is really, it's to provide women with accurate and reliable information that will empower them and that they can use to plan or prevent pregnancy, which is why we're really excited about this study kicking off. Definitely, thanks, Ms. Heyer. Uh, Dr. Simmons, could you talk more specifically about the study itself? Yeah, thanks, Sophie. Um, as with any family planning method, women who want to avoid pregnancy need to know how effective a method is before they start to use it. Essentially, they want to know how well does this method keep them from getting pregnant. And that's really what we mean by efficacy. So an efficacy study is really uh, two things. It tells them how women are using a method in real life um, to prevent pregnancy, um, and we're interested in understanding how women are interpreting the messages and information they receive about their fertility and how they act on that information. Knowing this information allows us to provide women with real-world information about the app's use. We're using this particular study to understand the efficacy of using DOT to prevent pregnancy, and then also how women are using the DOT app to prevent pregnancy. And by the end of the study, we want to be able to tell women that information about its uh, effectiveness. So uh, Dr. Simmons, wondering if you could also share a few more specifics about the logistics of the study or the study details. Yeah, absolutely. So we're expecting to recruit and follow 1,200 women in the United States in the study for about a year who have recently downloaded the DOT app and are wanting to avoid pregnancy. The majority of the research that we're planning on doing, including surveys in the form of daily pop-ups around sexual activity and other questionnaires for women to respond to, are actually going to be conducted on the DOT app itself in real time. So we designed the study according to the scientific guidelines for research on the effectiveness of other family planning methods, just like condoms or pills. Um, and what's exciting about this study is that to our knowledge, the DOT efficacy study is the first study that tests the efficacy of an app as a method of pregnancy prevention in a real-time setting. Great, thank you to the three of you, Dr. Simmons, Dr. Jennings, and Ms. Heyer for, uh, for laying the groundwork there for our discussion.